a free minute to talk a little bit about uh, some recent acquisitions of mine. There's one, and uh, in the coming week or so, you're going to be seeing me talk about this guy and that guy. But for right now, I'm actually going to talk about the place that I ordered these from, that is FastTech.com. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about Fast Tech, and I can't say that I really agree with how mixed those reviews are. Um, but I do want to throw in a little caveat. I ordered all of these together along with another one of these that I gave to a friend of mine. And the reason that I got it in a reasonable amount of time is that if you order $20 or so of product and have it shipped to you, and you go into the advanced shipping options, there's an one of the options is to have it shipped to you first class in a very short amount of time. Well, short for international. It was no extra charge, but it would have been one or two dollars if I had had an order that was less than twenty dollars. And uh, I gotta say, I'm super satisfied. I'm totally going to be ordering more uh, knives from these guys in the future. What I would really, really like to do is to have some kind of system where I could order just weird stuff that they have hosted there. I've already got my eye on a few. Or some really snazzy looking uh, knives. And uh, be able to... Uh, order those one, for review purposes and then probably get rid of them somehow, if not just put them directly into my collection. But that's neither here nor there. That's not really what we're talking about. Right now what we're really focused on is this knife, which is great, and this sheath, which is terrible. So instead, I made a replacement. This is uh, not the first sheath that I made, but it is the first sheath that I made for uh, this kind of knife. I left the edges of it pretty raw because the the things that are for myself I don't really clean up very well. You can see it got it got really close right there. It's not that way on the other one, but I don't have pictures of the other one because I already gave it to a friend of mine. I used a, a length of tack cord here and had a little figure eights there to keep the breakaway clasp from escaping on down and getting lost. That way they're always right up next to where it is meant to connect instead of bunched up all the way down here. Now, there you notice there are three holes and this one has to come, ar come around so it goes and weaves in, loops around right there. I wanted a variety of mounting options even though I'm probably only actually going to use, you know, just this one. More options is nice. All right, it comes with a lanyard, and normally I am not really a lanyard person, although I did redo the knot to something that's more to my taste. This is that uh, true lover's knot, or Aleph knot, that I like so much. But um, it, it's nice here just to keep control of the knife, although the one that I was using before this did not have the lanyard on it because I took it off. The lanyard is actually upstairs. It totally shipped with one. Now, I do have uh, some enough about modifications. Let's talk more about the knife itself. It's, uh, it's a hawkbill. It doesn't have a fancy name or anything like that. And it is incredibly thick. Like, very thick. Meaty sort of thing. And they were inconsistently sharpened. That is, the first one, the one that I gave away, uh, I had to sharpen because it was not sharp at all. Uh, the grind on it is very wide, like an axe grind. Um, but uh, this one, the one that I'm holding right now, doesn't didn't need much of a touching up. I, I did still do that anyway because that's to my taste, but... Uh, the points were also inconsistent from one to another. But it was a dollar and 77 cents, so I barely even care. <laughs> uh, yeah, these, these, that's the, that's the reason that I 
that I went fast tech. They are very low cost, and for the low cost, they actually give you some pretty decent product. Um, you know, after putting in a little bit of extra work on it myself. I didn't think that I would like this size of a knife because the, the little two finger or three finger knives I don't really like that much but I gotta say after wearing it around for a little while it was nice to be able to just to cut something open and then just pull that back to uh, what I was doing is I was cutting and then writing immediately afterwards and I also used this a little bit while I was doing some uh, some some repairs like patching up a pair of pants of mine and it was very handy for that and I could I could do a, a section of uh, really quickly lashing some, uh, stitching something back together and then cut the cord there and go to the next weak spot and reinforce the weak spot and then cut the thread right there without ever having to take it off of my finger that was really nice um, if I were going to you know I tried it around with uh, with a lanyard for a little while. I'm probably gonna ditch this lanyard on the yeah little little hook claw. Uh, all right. Uh, so some other things about um, Fast Tech. They very frequently tell you exactly what's what kind of steel is in the knife, and they'll give you a Rockwell rating, which is very nice. This one is, off the top of my head, 57 to 58, but the actual full set of stats should be over here, if that works out. If not, then they're all going to be in the description. Um, let's see. Um, it also kind of looks like this was made in a foundry of some kind. Like, uh, instead of making out one big long piece and then milling a bunch of these out of them, it looks like that was that was poured, because that's... And that would be where the, the mold was broken. Or I could be totally off there. Maybe that's like a coating of some kind. Um, but when I was sharpening it, uh, and much more heavily sharpening the other one, it does not seem to uh, peel or anything like that. That is definitely metal, and it's very, very silky smooth. All right. Uh, at this point in the review, I might splice in some other thoughts from the much harsher review that I shot a week ago. Now, I went with three holes because I didn't know exactly how I was going to wear it. Um, I was going to go either wear it like that, or wear it like that, or in very odd cases, maybe wear it like that. I wasn't really sure at the time, but I, I'm thinking it was the right choice just because this make, made it easier to press with. I wound up wearing it like this most of the time. By the time you're seeing this, I will probably have posted a Reddit thread of how I made the sheath and all that. So uh, that will probably be down in the comments. Feeds in here and into this side. Then loop it around there so it is, it is actually on the edge there. I made sure the there were no burrs or anything or a hard edge where it out the cord. I didn't want the cord to slip back and forth. I wanted it to stay exactly where it is so that these lines would not change their relative length. It would always be they would always be equal like that. But I didn't want to just tie a knot in front of it because that would that would print more. I will say also that the manufacturing is somewhat inconsistent. You notice there's a little imperfection right there. And uh, they both came with a lanyard. I just took it off of mine because I don't really like this kind of cord. I would use uh, either tack cord or paracord. This is just like a like a cheap little nylon shoelace. You notice the, the hole is a slightly different shape on that one. And so the, the extra bit is a little more exaggerated there. But uh, if I get exactly in focus, you notice that the upper hole here has some impurities or imperfections on it that are absent right there. So slightly inconsistent manufacturing process and about this. And uh, I have since uh, really, really warmed up to this knife. Um, combined with the with the little sheath that I made right here. This is probably my lowest printing knife, and uh, 
Oh, that's another thing. Despite being monstrously thick, it has like almost no weight to it at all. So this is... Now, I'm normally used to wearing uh, very, very large knives, like that guy. But, uh, so, I would forget that I was wearing this no matter what, because I forget that I'm wearing this. But uh, your average normal person could be could easily forget that they're wearing this guy. You know, unless it was on the outside, which is not how I typically wear mine. All right, um, in a bit of a rush, so I'm gonna call that that. I definitely recommend this guy, especially for the price. But uh, if you don't pay, do that advanced first class shipping system that they kind of hide from you, um, be prepared to wait for like a month to a month and a half. All right, thank you very much. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, like to raise my ranking in search results, uh, subscribe to see more videos like this, especially the knot tying videos, or, or just things about making gear, like listen to me talk about breakaway clasps, or etc. Um, you notice that I'm kind of fond of these breakaway clasps. All right.